Russian philosopher is the collective name of a very diverse part of the Western philosophical tradition, with many directions that are sometimes immensely different among themselves. A Russian philosophy is not only represented by the most various philosophical inheritance of philosophers rooted in the Russian cultural sphere. For example, several of the most well-known representatives, such as Berdyaev and Shostov, came from Ukraine, while, for example, Florensky had Armenian roots. Russian philosophy is also intimately interconnected with Russian literature in a much stronger way than what is the case of classical literature in the West. Dostoevsky, Tolstoy and Turgenev, just to mention a few examples. So, some prevalent general features of the variegated Russian philosophy in comparison to the rest of the Western philosophy. And once again, we have to keep in mind that Russian philosophy, after all, is an integrated part of Western philosophy in a broad sense. First, we are speaking about the continental philosophical tradition. Strong historic connection to German idealism and romanticism. Also the case regarding materialistic philosophers developing reactions mainly on Hegel's idealism. Secondly, philosophical synthetism. The truth is holistic. It's not possible to distinguish in an analytical way. Then we have transrationalism. And here we borrow this term from the great Russian philosopher Simeon Frank. Rush rational thinking is to be supported by, if not necessarily irrational, but by what is beyond rational thinking. This is, by the way, uh, a red thread in Dostoevsky's Pencroft. Further, we have Sotrology. Philosophy should ultimately lead to salvation, while rational truth is not a self-purpose and thus not bring any intrinsic value. Absolutism. There is no golden mean or golden middle way in rational cultural tradition, reflecting the very absence of Renaissance and Reformation in the Russian history. So here focus is on an uncompromising all or nothing. And then we have moralism, and that is a result of the strong focus on bringing salvation, and not only to humanity, but also to the nature and the entire cosmos. Russian philosophy is very much characterized by moralism, and here Tolstoy is good example of this movement. In the following future sessions of this series, we will dig deeper into these general mainstream peculiarities of Russian philosophy.